all you beautiful little unicorns, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you're on my channel, I'm Vanessa Samina and welcome to the fam. So you guys, today's reading is all about exactly what you need to hear right now, exactly what the universe is trying to tell you. And to help you figure that out, I have prepared four groups for you and I would like you to pick one of these four groups intuitively. So if this is the first time that you're tuning into one of these readings, just know that any of these four crystals that you feel drawn to, any one that sort of gives you that connection, that is the one that you should go with. And if you feel drawn to two crystals, then feel free to tune into two readings because your personal reading, it just may be a mixture between two groups. And this is the part where I could urge you to subscribe to my channel, but I don't want you to do that unless you truly enjoy my content and find it inspiring, uplifting, insightful. So make sure that you tune into one of my readings, maybe even two, depending on what resonates with you. And if you did enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And for all my beautiful little OG unicorns out there, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up as well as to let me know down in the comment section what really hit home for you because I just love reading your comments. You guys know that. So the timestamps are down below in the description box. You could just click your corresponding timestamp in order to fast forward to the reading that you have chosen. So regarding the four groups, we have the Maldivite, we have the Blue Calcite, we have the Opal, as well as the Agate. Before I move into the readings, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for being here and for subscribing. I love you guys so much. You don't know how much it means to me to be able to film these videos and reach so many people and get so much positive feedback, so much love, and to be able to give you guys the love back. And you guys really make me feel like I have a purpose. If I was able to do card readings day in, day out, every day, all day, that's what I would do. So I'm beyond grateful that I have you guys. So thank you guys so much for being here. So yeah, enough cheesy talk, you guys. Let's get into the readings. I'm going to start off with the first group, which corresponds to the Maldivite. Hello, group number one, you chose the Maldivite. So let's get straight into your reading. So you chose the Maldivite maybe because you just thought it looked kick-ass and awesome, or maybe because you really connected on a deeper level with the Maldivite. So I wanna let you know real quick, what the Maldivite stands for. So the Maldivite is for anybody who needs to start vibrating on a higher level, for anybody who feels like their life has maybe gotten a little bit dull, anyone who needs more of the wow factor in their life, more of the wow, wow, like what's going on? You know what I mean? So let's move further into your reading to figure out exactly what you need to hear right now. So we have recovery, it's up to you, big happy changes and trust. Okay, so group number one, what I see is that everything in your life right now is up to you and everything in your life right now is just completely, you know, in your hands. You need to decide how you move forward and you need to decide what your life comes to. So I just wanna remind you that your life, you're always one choice away from your life being so different so not what it is right now and i want you to know that you know you're in control and it can sometimes be really easy in today's day and age and in today's society to feel like it's not really in your hands but what the universe wants you to know is that you must trust you must trust in your ability to lead you must trust in your ability to have that confidence to put your life anywhere you want it to be, to lead your life into any direction that makes you happy and that fulfills you. So group number one, I definitely want you to, you know, know that it's up to you. You have to make the choices in your life in order to get to where you desire to be because nobody else is going to be able to push you in that direction. Nobody else has the capability to make you feel fulfilled. Nobody but yourself. So, you know, other people along the way may fulfill you to a certain extent, you know, attaining certain like material things, finances, a certain job may fulfill you to a certain extent, but it'll never truly be that happiness that only you can give yourself and that only you can provide by knowing that life is in your control. So keep that in mind, group number one. Then we have big happy changes as well as recovery on one side. So I definitely see that, you know, in correlation with 
the Moldavite. I feel like recovery is something so essential for you. I feel like recovery is something that you need to take seriously. So you may not have necessarily have suffered from any sort of substance abuse, but recovery just in the sense of recovering your emotions, your psychological well-being, because I feel like maybe feeling like your life is a little bit more dull than you want it to be, or like you're sort of missing that spark has really taken a toll and has really given your confidence a hit where it hurts. So know that you can recover and know that, you know, it's very clear that you're somebody who can bounce back. You're somebody who has that capability and I don't want you to be afraid of recovery. I don't want you to be afraid of what may happen, you know, once you get back on your feet because sometimes recovery is so scary because we feel like we may get knocked down again. Sometimes it's easier to just stay down rather than to recover just because you feel like what the point in recovering like if I recover I can just get knocked down again if I recover things can just go south again get back up okay get back on up on the pedestal because you are a queen a king you are a beautiful gorgeous person who deserves to get back on you know the pedestal that they're supposed to be on and that pedestal is built upon you know self-love it's built upon confidence it's built upon all of those things that truly um, give you good vibrations and that help you be a compassionate, empathetic person. I definitely see big, happy changes coming your way, especially when you learn to recover, especially when you take time to recover and you, you know, you remain with this mindset that your life is up to you, that your life is completely in your control and when you stop blaming um, circumstances or you stop blaming certain outcomes on your circumstances because you have the power to change your circumstances. It may not be easy, but when has anybody who has accomplished great things in life ever said, well, you know, that was pretty easy. You know, that has never happened, not in the history of accomplishments. So know that um, it may be tough, but you got what it takes, okay? Life may be hard, but um, you're, you're tougher. So moving on, we have Melchizedek, we have Lord Shiva, we have Mary Magdalene, as well as Hilarion. So what I see in Melchizedek is the fact that um, you're able to learn from experience. You're somebody who progress a lot when conducting inner study, okay? So I definitely see that that is something that you need to hear, that is something that you need in order to push you forward. You have to conduct more inner study as in, you know, working on yourself, working on how you deal with situations and just you as a person, you know, who are you internally? That is something so important. And in Lord Shiva, we have transcendence, we have rising up, we have honoring your inner force. And that is something that you need to know. That is something that you have to remember Remember, because group number one, I truly feel like you may have lost a little bit of a bubbly spark or maybe you're a bit on a low right now and this is exactly what you need to hear. You need to hear that, you know, only you can make those changes, only you can um, drive yourself to learn from experiences as well as to, you know, further progress by working on yourself internally and that is something so important and that is something that will definitely lead you to those big happy changes. So keep that in mind. In Mary Magdalene, I can see that you have an inner calling. You have something that you need to share. You have sort of this feeling that you're here on this earth to do something specific. You know you have a job to fulfill. You know that there's something that you're here to do and that only you can do. So I want you to follow that calling and to not let you, anybody tell you otherwise. As I can see in Hilarion that you're sensitive. You're somebody who needs to retreat in order to recharge and to heal. And you're somebody who has this sort of light. You're an empath. You know, you're naturally super empathetic, super understanding, and um, that can heal others. And it's important for you to not let anybody get in the way of what you're meant to do, as I can see that it is super valuable to the people who come in contact with you that you do what you've always meant to do that you follow your divine path and um that you happily do it you know that you don't feel insecure that you don't feel like you don't belong and that you know that 
being on whatever path feels right, being on the path where you feel like you're sharing the messages that you were meant to share, that is where exactly where you're supposed to be group number one. So let's move further into your reading. We have the Tanzanite as well as the Sapphire. So group number one, I see in the Tanzanite that um, healing from past experiences, which we already, you know, sort of have touched on in recovery, I see that um, you will have healed very soon from past experiences enough to properly love again and to properly open up your love channel. So whether you are in a relationship or you are single, sometimes it can just be hard to let the love in, you know, whether somebody is in front of you every day or whether you're alone every day, it can be hard to open up and it can be hard to show your vulnerability. So know that soon you will be able to feel a bit safer doing that and a bit more at ease with it because, you know, as we have in Hilarion, you are a sensitive soul, you are a sensitive person and sometimes you can get hurt really easily or you can take things personally and it's not always easy being you because you are sensitive, you know, maybe you are of a water sign, water signs are very connected to the emotional realms and it can be, you know, easy for them to feel a little butt hurt, if you will, and you know, I totally, I'm on the same page, I'm a Cancer, so I get you. And in the Sapphire, I see that um, it's important for you to know that your health, your happiness, abundance, all of that comes down to how you treat yourself and it is all up to you, okay? So it's all up to you. I cannot stress that enough. Um, you have to trust, you have to trust that it is in fact all up to you and you have to know that all of those things, your happiness, your love life, your health, your abundance, it all depends on whether you let it happen and whether you trust in the universe. And you know, it sort of depends on whether you let things work and on whether you allow yourself to have a gentle approach because the worst thing that you can do to yourself, group number one, from what I've seen in your reading, the worst thing you can do is force things, is you know, being overly harsh on yourself and is to try and force something as I see that what you really need is just, you know, to recover, to be calm, to be content and to be kind to yourself, you know, don't just be empathetic towards other people, don't just give them, you know, all the best sides of you, save some for yourself, you know, don't just give it all to other people, you need some for yourself as well, so know that um, it's important for you to allow yourself to have that self-love and allow yourself to have that same empathetic nature that you give other people. So don't miss out on yourself, group number one. That is the most important message that I have for you. So group number one, I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope you found it insightful and I will see you in my next reading. Hello group number two and welcome to your reading about what you need to hear right now. So you chose the blue calcite. So group number two, there is a reason why you may have chosen the blue calcite and I'm here to let you know why. So maybe you did not just like how the stone looked, maybe you had a deeper connection to the blue calcite because the blue calcite is for anybody who is letting stress get the best of them, anybody who is up at 3 a.m. stressing about, you know, what their next steps are in life. And it's also for anyone who sort of already pre-stresses about stress that doesn't even exist yet, if you know what I mean. And I'm right there with you, I know what it feels like. So that may be one of the reasons why you chose the blue calcite. So let's move further into your reading to figure out exactly what you need to hear and what you need to know. So we have no need to worry, yes letting go as well as improving health group number two it's very clear that after you know sort of figuring out why you may have chosen the blue cow side that you need to stop worrying so that is one of the things that i see as your downfall group number two that is one of the things that you need to hear is that you have to stop worrying and that you have to stop pre-stressing about stress that doesn't exist and i know that you know that it doesn't make sense, but sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes you're just super anxious and it's just so easy to stress instead of be calm. And it, it sounds crazy saying it out loud, but I totally get you, group number two. I'm like the same, the exact same, but sometimes you just need to meditate, you need to take some deep breaths, and you need to chill out. You need to learn how to chill out, group number two. That is one of the main things that I would like to let you know. So moving further into your reading, group number two, I see that letting go is something that is essential. So I feel like maybe you've had some sort of childhood trauma, you know, where you've been bullied or where somebody has kept pointing things out 
that you just can't let go now. So for instance, if you've been insecure as a child or if you were chubby or if, you know, I mean, kids always find the most ridiculous things to torture you about. But anyways, so that may be something that you're still hanging on to that you haven't let go yet. And, you know, also sort of deceit people um, not being completely honest with you and misusing your trust. That is often something that is so hard to let go of and you know, seeing that you have chosen the blue calcite and you're somebody who worries a lot, I feel like trust issues is something that is really a big topic in your life and is something that shapes a lot of your behavior, how you act with other people, how you act towards other people, and um, just so, sort of what people you allow around you and into your life, which it's always good to be careful, it's always good to be cautious, to keep your eyes open, but at the same time, you know, give people a chance. Let go of arguments, of petty disputes, of anything that may have hurt your feelings in the past as, you know, it is possible for people to change. It is possible for people to truly feel sorry about things, but sometimes you also just like, it's about you. You have to let go and you need to know that forgiveness heals everything and time heals everything. So if you need more time to forgive, that's completely fine, but just make sure that you are on the route to forgiveness. Make sure that you're not just telling yourself that you're cool when you're really not cool because that's something that a lot of us do. We just say, oh, we just don't even care. Meanwhile, we still sort of feel a little bit bothered internally. And that, you know, leads to sort of a buildup of anxiety, a buildup of anxious emotions. And that can lead to, you know, an increase in worry. So know that this all works together. Know that this is all stuff that can build on each other and that's really not good for your soul as well as you as a spiritual being. So in improving health as well as yes, I definitely see that what you need to hear right now is that your health will be improving. So I see that something is going to give you the motivation or the kick to improve your health and to focus on your health finally. So why this card has showed up in your reading, I mean, I don't know, are you eating a bag of chips right now, some ice cream in bed while you're watching this? I don't know, you know, just an assumption, I'm not trying to not trying to call anyone out. Maybe you are, yes. <laughs> Jokes aside, guys. Yeah, maybe you haven't been taking so much care of your health. Maybe you haven't been doing what you're supposed to do. Maybe you know that there are supplements that you're supposed to take that your doctor has given to you, but you've not been taking them consistently. Maybe you know you should be working out in order to feel good, but you haven't been doing it. Maybe you know you should have like had that salad instead of that pasta, and that would have made you feel better, but you haven't. So know that your health is going to be improving. Know that you're going to say yes to all of that. Know that you're going to say yes to just being better to yourself, your soul, your body. And you know, that is just a beautiful feeling to have, to feel like, yes, you know, my health is improving. And just think of it this way. Like for instance, if you make yourself a super healthy meal or you consistently take those supplements, you just really focus on your mental health and you don't worry so much, just that feeling of knowing like I'm nurturing myself, I'm treating myself the way I'm supposed to in order to show myself, my body, my soul that I love it. That is such a beautiful experience that you deserve and that you need to continue cultivating and that will help you not stress out so much and feel more comfortable in your body because one thing that I notice with pre-stressing as well as worrying is this often happens when you don't feel comfortable in your body for whatever reason and improving your health is something that usually makes you feel all around a lot more comfortable. So group number two, let's delve further into your reading. So we have Gaia, we have Krishna, we have Saint Germain. Oh, don't know what I did there. Sanat Kumara. So group number two, in Gaia I see a connection to the earth. I see that this is something that you need. Um, you have to be mindful of the planet. You have to stay grounded, okay? So maybe you haven't been as mindful as you wanted to be recently, and that doesn't mean that you're not already doing well. So maybe you're already recycling, you're already vegetarian or vegan, or you know, you're very conscious of what you eat, and you're very conscious of how you live your life, how much um, waste you produce. Doesn't mean 
mean that you're already doing well, but sometimes you just need to reground yourself. You just need to reconnect with nature. So one of the things that I feel like you need to hear is that you have to go out into the nature to truly connect with nature. You can't connect with nature by just sitting at home looking at nature-esque things, if you know what I mean. Like you can only truly feel nature, the earth, um, the energy of the nature when you're in the nature. So definitely take some trips out into the nature and know that there are always more improvements that you can make because I'm pretty sure, you know, we're not all living a zero waste life, far from it. So there are always further improvements that you can make. So some of the things that I really like to do to lessen my waste is for instance, to try and chop fruit and vegetables that are local produce when possible. I also have been thriving on a completely vegan diet for like the past five, six years. That makes a big impact. And I also try and do some no buy months and weeks where I'm just like, no, I'm just gonna use what I have because a lot of us have a lot of things, a lot of possessions, a lot of items that we don't need or that we have too much of, you know, especially women. Things can often pile up, for instance, with makeup, with clothes, and sometimes it's good to just say to yourself, you know what, I'm not gonna buy a single thing and I'm gonna make the best of what I already have. So group number two, that is one thing that you need to hear and that you must work on. And in Krishna, I see that devotion to your spirituality is something that you really will thrive on. It's really something that you've been looking into and that has been treating you well. And I see that your commitment will be recognized. I see that the universe will show that it loves you unconditionally and that it wants you to succeed. So know that connecting with your spiritual guidance and trusting it comes with rewards because that way the universe can sort of see like, okay, you know, this is a little light worker. This is a little unicorn that is here for, you know, the highest good that puts out positive energy. So we will send back positive energy. So that is how the law of attraction, how the universe works, you know, like attracts like. And in Saint Germain, I see that you must move beyond the drama as well as in Sanat Kumara, I see that you have to shine your light. So maybe there's been drama in your life recently or you just feel really dramatic, you know, that's drama too. Like when you scroll through your timeline and it's just, it kills you because everyone is so perfect, photoshopped. <laughs> and you know, things just seem so not perfect in your life and it's, it's dramatic, okay? You're like, why is this not me? Why are things not going the way I want them to go? And just being on social media can sometimes magnify that. So I want you to know that any drama with other people or with yourself spiritually is not going to help you be devoted to your spirituality. So try and release any bad karma that comes from drama. Try and release anything that comes with the drama because it's never positive. It's never something that moves you forward. It's never something that's inspirational. Drama is just drama and that's that. And if it's not happening where you can control it, as in, for instance, if you just, you know, keep it at arm's length, if for instance, two people are having some sort of dispute with each other, you stay out of the drama. Or if you're, I don't know, your favorite show entails drama, that's how you can keep it at arm's length. So it's not necessarily healthy for you to surround yourself with any drama whatsoever, but we're all human. We all, you know, drama is can be interesting to watch, but make sure that that's all you're doing. You're watching, you're keeping it at arm's length, and if possible, you're eliminating as much drama out of your life as possible. And in Sanat Kumara, I see that your internal guidance is something that is coming through loud and clear, is something that will shine sort of almost like a halo around you. And I want you to know that this will truly let you um, sort of shine your light even brighter. So focus on your spirituality group number two. That is something that I see that will truly move you forward, that will truly transform your life and yourself as a person in a way that you never thought possible, but you'll be like, wow, you know, like this is who I'm meant to be. So last but not least, we have the rose quartz as well as the titanium rainbow quartz. So I see in the rose quartz that um, there is love sort of energy around you. And I see that there is a chance for renewed romance if you are in a relationship or, you know, it is time for 
for romance to come into your life if you're single. So I definitely see a group number two that what you need to know is that you're ready to love and that um, romantic energy is something that is all around you and you're able to sort of go with it as long as you say yes. So make sure that you say yes to going on dates, that you give people chances, that you're not too um, close-minded because that is something that can often be very harmful in love and that can sort of make you miss your soulmate or your twin flame and we wouldn't want that to happen now would we so in the titanium rainbow quartz i see that um there's so many layers there's so many dimensions to you and your life there's so much to talk about, okay? And I would talk about it all day, but I don't want this reading to take forever. So group number two, I want you to know that um, everything has so many layers. Nothing is just one simple yes or no answer in life. You know, it's not just all black and white. There are so many gray areas and allow yourself to explore those gray areas. Don't feel like things need to be black or white don't feel like you have to say yes or no know that there are always other sort of opportunity chances ways of doing things ways of coping in life and you are allowed to explore those and actually exploring those can often be so much more beneficial as you know we are all so individual and just having a yes or no a b um, black or white sort of answer is not does not always fit every single one of us so feel free to explore all of the facets and all the little in-betweens of your life so group number two that is the reading that I received for you I hope you enjoyed it and found it insightful and I will see you in my next reading Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. So you chose the opal. Group number three, I want to quickly get into why you may have chosen the opal, aside from the fact that this is a truly beautiful stone. So the opal is a mineral that is for anybody who has something that needs to be done, for anybody who has a project, a deadline, something that needs to be met and something that needs to get a move on. So group number three, Maybe you've been procrastinating. Maybe there's something that you know that you should have tended to, but you haven't. And maybe that is why you chose the opal. Maybe that is why it resonated with you. Or maybe you just need that push to continue going after your dreams and after the things that are truly important to you. But let's move further into your reading to figure out exactly what you need to know and what you need to hear right now. Ooh. So group number three, we have success. We have helpful people, we have communicating clearly, as well as peaceful resolution. Okay, group number three. What I intuitively see for you and for what you need to hear is the fact that success is something that is super close. Success is something that awaits you, especially once you get a move on this rut that you're having and a move on this situation that needs to be dealt with. So I definitely see that communication is key here. I definitely see that group number three, what you need to focus on and what you need to hear right now is communication is something that you can practice. Communication is something that you don't need to suck at forever if you feel like you suck at communicating. And it's something that you can practice on a daily basis with people that you come in contact with and with people who are close closest to you. So how can you practice communicating clearer? So when you wake up, already practice communication with the universe. That's exactly where it starts. So practice communication by saying mantras, by saying affirmations, by writing them down, and by making sure you get super detailed. So for instance, if my dream is to at some point get to a million subscribers, then my affirmation would be, I am a successful YouTuber with a million subscribers. So make sure that you write things down in the present moment as if they already are happening and make sure that you visualize them, that you feel it, that you don't just write it down, that you actually feel it, that you actually feel like, wow, like I have a million subscribers or I have this amazing job or I have this beautiful partner make sure that you visualize what that feeling is going to be like once you have acquired it and um, feel it in the present moment, feel it as if it's happening to you because that is how you communicate clearly with the universe and that is how you manifest things into reality. So speaking about communicating with other people clearly, I want you to think about, you know, are you sometimes sending mixed messages or are you really speaking clear enough for anybody to understand without any sort of misinterpretation? So 
Know that it's so important for you to always keep in mind that what goes on in your head is what goes on in your head. You know, other people don't know what you're truly thinking. So if you're, for instance, texting or speaking to somebody over the phone, try and be as clear about your intentions as possible so nothing can go wrong and make sure that even, you know, in person, communicate clearly, especially with the ones that you love and keep letting them know how much you appreciate them and how much you love them because that is something that helps communicate consistently that you have nothing but love, nothing but empathy, and um, nothing but the best intentions for the people who you adore. So that is something so kind and so amazing that you can do for the people who mean a lot to you and who have been there for you by just constantly communicating very clearly how much you love them and implementing more love and more generosity more gratefulness for them into your life so know that that is a way that you can communicate with the universe that you are ready for success you're ready to move further ahead in life and in helpful people i see that you need to hear that it's okay to receive help and it's okay to allow people to help you. So sometimes it can be really hard to accept help from people, especially if it's a stranger, somebody you don't know very well, or even your family. There are things that can be uncomfortable. For instance, if you need help with something emotionally, if you financially need help, if you need help just fixing a situation, it can be so hard and uncomfortable and kind of embarrassing to ask for help, but I want you to know that it's cool, it's okay, because how would you feel if somebody would trust you with something that is embarrassing to them, with something that they're struggling with? You wouldn't judge them, I'm sure you wouldn't do that. I see that you're somebody who would try and find a peaceful resolution for them and would try and help them through it. So know that it's not just other people who are deserving of this treatment. You're actually deserving of this treatment too, newsflash, but sometimes it can be so hard to truly feel that way and to truly implement that. But practice asking for help. Practice it with really little things that you know don't really inconvenience anybody because sometimes you're so set in your ways of not wanting to ask for help or not wanting to sort of be a drag or somebody who is um, causing an inconvenience in another person's life that even when you're struggling so hard and you're holding on for dear life like you would rather hold on for dear life than ask for help, which is completely wrong because your loved ones, your friends, they're happy to help you, believe me. Like it's just all in your head that you feel like they don't want to help or that you feel like you're a burden. So never feel that way as that will just mess with your vibrations. So let's move further into your reading group number three. So we have the Miriam, we have Bridget, we have the Shekinah as well as Hope. So in hope, I see love and acceptance. So group number three, what you need to hear is the fact that love and acceptance is something that is here for you. And love is yours, but you have to recognize your worth. You have to know um, that you can choose loving thoughts in order to cultivate more love into your life. And um, with love, I mean, especially self-love. You know, self-love is something that you always need to keep up that is so important and that you need to know in the Shekinah, the fact that your sacred self is something that you have to unleash, but you can only unleash it with self-love. So as I said, in the hope, we have love and acceptance, which is something super, super important that you need to keep practicing. And you have to make sure that that is something that you never lose because if you don't accept yourself if you don't love yourself it will be impossible for anybody else to accept and love you because there will always be this weird vibe around you that people can feel you know people can feel when you're not self-confident people can feel when you don't love yourself and when you don't accept yourself and it can be so hard to actually get other people to treat you right when you're not treating yourself right and in the Shekinah it's super important for you to know that your divine self is sacred and it's important for you to unleash your spirit and express your gifts so don't be shy to express who you are and your gifts don't be shy to you know allow those to shine and allow those to make you different so moving on in the bridget i see inner strength so I feel like you have to recognize that you have the power to move back into wholeness. So maybe you feel like you've been broken in two or like you've been hurt really deeply and 
it's hard for you to find the strength or it's hard for you to see how you could ever be whole again and this is especially if you know you've been through a situation of heartache or you've been through a situation where a friend has disappointed you really badly or has you know gone behind your back and done something that is really unforgivable and often that can mess with your inner strength it can mess with you know your love and acceptance of yourself because it makes you feel almost like you're not worthy, you know? And it's important for you to not allow somebody else to influence that part of your life because when you give somebody else the power of your love and acceptance over yourself and your inner strength, that is just a recipe for disaster. For, so group number three, I want you to know that you have to reclaim your power in the opal, you know, that is something that will help you get things done and um, will help you sort of take hold of that inner strength and use it to your advantage because all of us, we have inner strength and we all need it for certain times in our life. So it's important that it is in your possession and not in someone else's. So in the Miriam, I see a sacred vision. I see that it's important for you to forgive in order to heal, no matter how hard it is. So I already spoke a little bit about, you know, a friend or a lover hurting you so badly that it's almost unforgivable. But in order to move forward, you have to forgive, okay? You have to know that you have to see the light in everything you have to know that love has no boundaries and you can even have love for somebody who has hurt you super super badly so know that um, you have to see the light in everything so if you for instance have a ex-friend or ex-boyfriend ex-girlfriend that has hurt you super badly know that that is a lesson and know that life is here to show you these situations and to put you through these situations in order for you to know better and in order for you to learn because that person, that situation was not for you in the first place. And seeing the light in the situation means that you're able to see that, hey, you know, like we had a good time while it lasted but I took valuable lessons from that and now I am a stronger, wiser person and this is how I'm going to move forward in life with you know more inner strength than ever before. So moving forward, group number three, you have the Sodalite as well as the Tiger's Eye. Saying the number of the groups is so weird to me because I feel like I have such a personal bond with each and every one of you, especially the ones of you who are active. You know, I see your usernames and I just wanna like say them because I feel like I'm speaking directly to you. So anyways, in the Sodalite as well as the Tiger's Eye, I see that um, you need to be confident around people. So in the Sodalite, I see that socializing or joining in, um, that is something that you should do more. I feel like you're not participating in very many social activities. Maybe you're a little bit of a loner or you feel like you don't have like a tribe group that really like clicks with you and that you feel like really resonates with you as a person. But you know, it's important to take that first step to, you know, just be a part of a like-minded community. If you can, there are tons of ways that you can connect. For instance, you know, over YouTube, over Instagram, you can connect with tons of like-minded people. You can go to events, to spiritual events, to meet other people face to face. And um, it's important for you to know that as soon as you get involved with people who are like-minded, it is more likely for you to be more social and to make new connections and establish new friendships. So if you're really into spirituality, which maybe you are, or maybe you just clicked into this video because you were curious, either way, there's so many events out there for people who are into spirituality, for people who are into things like meditation, yoga, all of that stuff. So make sure that you look out for events happening near you because that way you can connect with other people who are into the same thing. And in the tiger's eye, I see that self-confidence comes through God confidence. I call it confidence of the universe. So as you guys know, my channel is very non-discriminatory. All sexes, all genders, all you know, religious orientations or non-religions, everyone is welcome on my channel. So for me, you know that power is the universe. So what I'm here to tell you is that you know self-confidence comes through confidence in the universe. So know that once you're confident in the fact that there is an unexplained power, there is 
something that we just call these things coincidences and we only call them coincidences because we as human beings have not yet found a way to explain why certain things in our life happen but once you're confident that there is a higher power some sort of force that you cannot control but for instance with the universe you know the law of attraction the more positivity you put out the more positivity comes back to you once you really believe that there is a force that you know sort of magically does those types of things and we try and just you know justify it by saying it's a coincidence um, that is how you're going to become more confident that's how you're going to know that you've got good karma in your life because you know whatever sort of good energy you're putting out you're gonna receive a good energy back doing good to other people without expecting anything you don't even need to expect because you're gonna know that the universe is going to send you good things back into your life regardless just because it can tell that you're putting out positive energy you're being grateful you're being empathetic and helpful to the community and to other human beings so group number three and that is a reading that i received for you i hope you enjoyed it and found it insightful and i will see you in my next reading Hello group number four and welcome to your reading. So you chose the agate. So apart from the fact that the agate is such a beautiful, beautiful mineral, I mean, look at this. So apart from being beautiful, the agate stands for anybody who needs to sort of figure out their work-life balance, who is imbalanced with their work-life balance, where like a lot of screen time has you feeling disconnected. And just a little something for you group number four before I get further into the reading. Um, Work-life balance is something that we all should seriously reconsider. Work and life are so polar opposite when we put it as work-life balance. What we really should be looking at is creating just balance in life in general and aligning our work with our life so that work isn't, you know, so separate from our life so that work can you know, fluidly transcend through our lives without interrupting it or without making it sort of unenjoyable. So what I'm trying to say is that if you, for instance, have a job that you really do not enjoy and you're forced to be there 10 hours of the day, you know, working eight or nine hours and commuting that extra hour, um, that chews up so much of your life, so much of your day, that calling it work-life balance is not really a balance when you're spending so much time in a place that you maybe don't want to spend time in. So make sure that you see this as a call to align your life with your work and to make your work in a way that it doesn't feel so much like separate from your life because work takes up so much time in your life, it should be life. You know what I mean? Like it should give you life. It should make you feel good. So let's move further into your reading group number four. We have within the next few months, we have abundance, listen to your intuition as well as compromise. So group number four, we have abundance. So good on you group number four, good on you. We have abundance coming into your life and I see amazing things happening within the next few months. So group number four, I want you to keep good energy going. I want you to keep it flowing and I want you to work on this feeling in the agat of you know maybe feeling like disconnected, maybe feeling like your work and your life is out of balance. I want you to truly work Work on that as I see that once you have resolved that there's abundance that can flow through your life that is something that will really really help you on a vibrational level and that will allow you to vibrate you know on a completely new high that you maybe didn't even know existed so know that once you've properly aligned that and once you've properly found a way how you can integrate work and life into one where it is just one beautiful flow instead of constant friction that is when things will start to just be abundant and flow a lot easier and be a lot more enjoyable if you know what i mean that will make life as a whole a lot more enjoyable so i want you to know that right now you're going to maybe have to balance things out i see the compromise is something that you have to be doing but you know it's okay it's fine to compromise it's something that we all need to do in life and it's something that you know we all also have to do to coexist so compromise is often a big thing when it comes to relationships it's often something that you must learn to practice in order to have successful relationships relationships as hard as it is and I know this from experience you know being in a committed relationship for years you have to compromise or you know just even if I think about relationships with family members etc you can't always have your way and not compromising is just going to cause a rift and it's just sometimes it's just so much easier to remind yourself that 
by compromising, you're being the bigger person. By compromising, you're being the stronger one. You're being the one who wants the best for everyone. And even if you feel like this is not your time to compromise, know that it just makes you look so much more noble, so much more graceful, and it makes you feel so much more noble and graceful when you compromise even if you wouldn't necessarily have to. So keep in mind that how you feel emotionally, spiritually is more important than what you gain in the outside world, than what you might have to maybe not compromise on. Know that how you feel about yourself and what the universe sees you doing just means so much more than maybe not having to compromise on like a little thing that is really not that significant. So it's so much more beneficial for you to listen to your intuition and to listen to when your body, your mind, your soul is telling you like, hey, if you just let somebody have their way right now, if you just let that person have whatever they want. It is so much more beneficial for you to listen to your intuition, especially when it comes to compromise. So oftentimes if you really tune into your intuition, which can be difficult in some situations, you will notice that your intuition is pushing you to just say, you know what, who cares? Like I would rather just go with the flow. I would rather just have things flow easily and simply without any sort of arguments and without any sort of disagreements. So know that Following your intuition often leads you to the more peaceful route, to the more tranquil, calm, and happy place. So um, listen to your intuition and flex that intuition muscle of yours. Don't let it die down. Don't let it become all you know, wonky and flabby. Make sure that you keep exercising your intuition because your intuition is just like your brain. It's a muscle. It's something that you can train. So consistently continue training your intuition as that will help you, especially in these next few months that you have abundance coming into your life. I feel like your intuition will let you know exactly what to do in order to channel more abundance. So let's move further into your reading group number four. We have the Holy Spirit, we have Isis, we have Faith, as well as Lady Portia. So group number four. In the Holy Spirit, I see that you may expect miracles. I feel like this abundance coming into your life, okay, this is bigger than usual. So group number four, you have some good things coming. So in the Holy Spirit, I see that um, you have to remember that just love is real you have to remember that miracles happen naturally and that your spirit has your back your spirit guides have your back so um know that things happen when they're supposed to happen and know that love is something that is real that you can't explain but everybody knows that it exists everybody knows what love feels like you know what i mean so just keep in mind that once you let miracles happen once you let love flow once you know that love is like the only thing that you should basically strive for love you know in your life love with other people just all around a sort of aura of just being empathetic being understanding kind and loving that is when you can expect miracles and that is when you can expect great grand things to happen for you and in isis i see magic manifesting so i see um your dreams your visions etc are going to be coming true within the next few months, you know, alongside abundance, but you have to stay focused. You have to really, really put your head down and stay focused because if you're not focused, uh, you're sending mixed messages and then it's going to lead to compromise in turn. So we've spoken about compromise, but what about compromise when you're sending mixed messages? And that is one thing that I wanna point out to you. So when you're not properly manifesting and you're not sending the right messages out into the universe, well, not wrong messages. There is no such thing as wrong messages, but once you're sending messages out into the universe that are not attracting the things that you want, that is when you know you're going to have to compromise that is when your abundance is going to be compromised and that is when you know the flow that is when any sort of magical things happening any sort of um dreams visions goals are going to maybe come true but it will be a compromised version if you know what i mean it's not going to be the full extra extended you know super version that you would actually want so know that that is something that is so essential for you to know we have the moonstone and the chariot don't worry i'm still going to go into faith as well as lady portia but i just felt it was right to uncover these cards right now so in the moonstone i see heightened intuition so be aware of your inner knowingness 
because it's trustworthy. So as we had already mentioned intuition, it's funny how, you know, I intuitively felt like you needed to know about the moonstone. Um, listening to your intuition and flexing that muscle, really sort of working on that muscle is essential. It's something that you need to hear because you have to continue sort of exercising it. Then the moonstone, I can see that your heightened intuition is going to make that easier. Your heightened intuition is going to allow you to, you know, truly feel things really strongly. You know, sometimes you have like just a bad feeling or you have like this feeling like, oh my God, like I should be doing this or I shouldn't be doing this. And having that heightened intuition is going to make it crystal clear what you should or should not be doing. And you have to trust it because it's trustworthy. And it's usually, I mean, not usually, it's always here for the best of you. And in the Cherite, I see that spiritual protection is something that is around you. I see that you're being watched over. I see that um, you're protected physically, emotionally, energetically. I see the universe is here for you and I don't want you to worry too much. You know, worry is something that can plant a little seed that can grow into this whole entire thing that is super destructive and really bad for you. So don't worry and just trust and believe in your spiritual protection. And in faith, I see um, humanity and benevolence. So staying calm, trusting in the good in yourself and others and seeing the light in the world is something that I see you excelling at. I see you sort of believing in other people being something that you're really good at. And that doesn't say anything about other people that says so much about you, you know, staying calm and trusting in the good of others is such an amazing trait and is something that I feel like a lot of people struggle with, but I see that that is something, humanity and benevolence is something that is your forte, it's something that you're strong at. And you may not always be able to show it very easily, but I definitely see that you do in a way see the light in the world. You, you're you scared for this world and you feel like, you know, things are going in a scary direction, but you see the light. You see how, you know, certain people, when you explain things, it lights up this conversation in them. It lights up this conversation as, oh, maybe I do need to be more sustainable. Maybe I do need to be more understanding and empathetic towards other people and how they feel and how they want to live their life. I see that you spark conversations in humanity and people that need to be had. So I want you to continue doing that and I want you to stay calm. I don't want you to let anybody get you out of that calm space because as soon as you're trying to do something for humanity and you don't do it in a calm demeanor, it kind of does a disservice because that is when people stop listening. So make sure that you do everything really calmly and in a confident way as that way you can truly continue you making changes and in lady portia i see that um you have to do what feels right i see that there's a divine order for things to be happening in your life and i see that um important lessons are unfolding and you have to sometimes just let them unfold and sometimes there's nothing we can do about it so you know how sometimes you make a decision and you know it wasn't the right decision and all of a sudden a whole avalanche of repercussions are unfolding and you know it's actually your fault <laughs> And that is something that I see you needing to just deal with. And I know I just said like, oh, knowing that it's your fault, but that's not what I meant. I meant like knowing that this is a lesson that you had to learn and knowing that you made that decision because the universe found that, hey, like you had to learn this lesson. You in particular had to make this wrong choice in order to have this avalanche of issues come down and for you to learn from them and for you to know that you know these are lessons and that these lessons are here to teach you and they're here to guide you and they will come in handy later in life when things are actually serious and you know when it's not just sort of a life lesson by the universe. So group number four, that is the reading that I received for you. I hope you enjoyed it and found it insightful and I will see you in my next reading. Thank you.